custom came with other life studio. Today, with the help of Marimol, I'm going to show you how to turn small fabric scraps into something really beautiful using a marbling technique called sumi We're going to turn that marbled fabric into a really fun summer bucket hat. So, to get started, we need a marbling kit. We got ours from Blick, and it comes with six different colors of ink that you can use for marbling. And it also comes with the little paper dots that help set the ink on the water. You also need water and a tray that's, I mean, you can use a, bit, a bigger tray, but this is, I found a really good size to control the um, marbles, marbling. And then a little like pick or paintbrush um, to move the ink around. And we'll show you how to do that a little bit later. I also have my hat pattern for the bucket hat that I'm gonna use. This one was generously supplied by Nana Atelier. You can also find um, bucket hat patterns online. And then the fabric scraps, which thank you so much, Marimol. We're using a plain uh, linen fabric in ivory, which is perfect for uh, picking up the ink that we're marbling. So this was really clutch. And then we're lining the bucket hat in this 100% cotton twill. And we're just using what we have. So you should use what you have, but definitely note that when you're using um, a marbling kit like this and you're just using water, you should look for natural fibers. So cotton, linen, silk, those are the types of fibers that pick up the dye really well. And that's what we're looking for because then you get something that's really bright and bold. Full disclosure, we did try to marble some of the other fabrics that we received in our beautiful package from Marimol, but unfortunately, they weren't able to absorb the dye, so it's really faint. But you'll see how beautiful it turns out on something like linen a little bit later. We wanted to share a quick note on Marimol. It's a really incredible company that is reimagining what end of use looks like for textile waste and they have generously supplied us with some offcuts from local manufacturers, but you can also buy fabrics from their site. So if you go to marimol.com, you can shop uh, recycled textiles essentially, which is so wonderful. So take a look at that and meet us on the other side. To begin dyeing your fabric, you're going to fill the tray with about half an inch of water and then you'll take one of the small cardstock dots that come in the die kit and place it in the water. So you actually wanna submerge it under the water so it gets totally wet and it's, it will slowly rise to the surface. That's when it's ready to receive a little drop of the ink. And you wanna use a light hand when you're dropping the ink onto that little paper dot. I found if I pushed it too hard or put too much ink on the dot, it would just sink into the water. And the idea is that you really want it to stay on the surface of the water and give you that like bright, vibrant effect. So you can place your first dot of ink on that little dot and then you can actually just keep using that same one and keep adding different colors of ink in concentric circles. And that is your basis of the marble print. And then I used tweezers to remove that little dot so that I could start manipulating the inks on the water. And you can do that in many different ways. And I sort of experimented with different techniques. I blew on the surface of the water, which gives a really cool feathered effect, but you can also use a comb or a pick. When you're satisfied with the way that the print looks on the water, you can dip your fabric in. So you wanna be really careful and start with one side of the tray and then slowly bring the fabric over to the other side just to make sure that it's evenly distributed and you're not disturbing the pattern on the fabric. But what the cool thing is, once the fabric has hit the ink, it absorbs it immediately and you don't have to worry about moving the fabric after that. As long as the whole thing is in the tray, you're good to go. You can pull it out let it drip a little bit and then I just hung mine to dry. Next, you're going to iron the pieces to set the dye. 
I used a high heat because that was appropriate for the base fabric which of mine, which was linen, but use a, a heat setting that's appropriate for whichever fabric you're using. So once you've dried and pressed all of your marble pieces, I kind of recommend just sitting down looking at what you have and then looking at your pattern pieces and seeing what you want to use for what and how much you'll need at that point. We try to make at least a yard um, because that's the average yield of something like a bucket hat, but um, we actually ended up making a little bit more, which is great because we can work on some of those extra projects we talked about. And I just love how some of these turned out. I also wanted to give you a chance to look at these in more detail. They're so pretty. Now you're ready to cut out the pieces for your bucket hat. And for this, you will need your paper pattern. We use a sewing machine, that's preferable, but you can also do this by hand. A good pair of scissors, some straight pins, fabric, and fusing for the brim, which is something that we forgot, but I don't want you to forget. So please make sure that you have that for this hat. When you're cutting out your pieces from the self fabric, you can look at the pattern that you've created and try and center your pattern pieces on the part of the pattern that you like the most, which is what I tried to do. And then I only lined the hat part, so the sides of the hat and then the top. But I, the brim I lined in self because I wanted to be able to see that when you flip the brim up. So now that all your pieces are cut out, you're ready to sew. My advice would be you know take it slow make sure that it fits properly so try it on once you've sewn the sides of the hat just to make sure that it's falling where you want it to fall and if you need to make any adjustments at this point it's a good time one adjustment that we made once we had sewn the self hat pieces together was we wanted to trim the brim it was a little bit long so we ended up cutting about an inch and a half off and you might find that you do that too once you get to that stage Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow Other Life Studio and Marimal on Instagram for all the updates.